So I'm thinking about getting some new Nike running shoes. I've been looking at the next four percenters um, that a lot of people have been reviewing on YouTube. Again, I'm not too sure if it's something that I'm going to be able to afford because they're like 300 quid or whatever they may be. Um, but again, dreams are there to be dreamed about, right? But there's these amazing, 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 amazing new shoes from Nike that this reviewer, this guy that I like actually, he's super cool. What's his name? Um... Kuzu Fuzi, I'll check them out. This was a nice one too from Dizine. Yeah, let's check out a video from Dizine. So I'll put this up on Dizine, but we can check out another video too. So this is a so this is basically the shoe that I kind of want now at the moment. It's the Nike um Vapor, the Nike Vapor Fly Next Percent, which isn't out yet. I think it's gonna be out tomorrow or no, tomorrow or the next day. No, tomorrow? I think tomorrow. Uh but it's only gonna be available to Nike Plus to Nike Run Club members. I'm not using Run Club anymore at the moment. I'm not sure about you guys running wise. Um it doesn't allow you to sync across your Nike runs on Strava. So now I've just decided to use Strava from now. I'm just going to start pick up from there. Unfortunately, really, because I've clocked up so many miles on Nike Run Club. But hey-ho, what can you do? Um, so essentially, this um, Nike 4% has come out. I uh, played this short video from Dezine that kind of talks about it a little bit more. And we'll talk about it on the other side. Exact same weight as the Vaporfly 4%. Let's put it on here. Video from Dezine. Nike Zoom Vaporfly, next 4%. Woo! My name is Brett Holtz, Vice President of Nike Running. Awesome. We are here today at Nike Town London for the launch of the Nike Big wow. Next Percent. This product has been designed and created for all marathoners and it all is so cool. to help everyone achieve their records and break those barriers. It will be debuted on our elite athletes in the London Marathon and then we'll have a broader release this summer. I like how they're releasing them too, right? They've released them super slow. Maybe a similar sort of um, way that they release shoes with influencers in general. They kind of usually seed them out. It, they usually nowadays it's usually a runway collaboration or whatever it may be. It's it seeded out to influencers, then it gets seeded out to the tier below, then it drops in some places publication wise to get take detailed shots of, and then it kind of gets a release date and then it comes out. So kind of usually about of a six to eight week window, sometimes, right? But I like they've really taken their time with these and they kind of, again, because it's a performance shoe and it's not, again, I'm sure a lot of people who would be wearing these shoes day to day, but I'm definitely going to wear them to run in, especially if I'm paying 350 for them. I'm going to wear them every single bloody day. They're going to clock up some hard miles. So what they do is that they get them out on actual professional runners um, during something like a marquee event, like a Boston Marathon, London Marathon, um, New York Marathon, Berlin Marathon, all these kind of marquee marathons that Nike usually send their athletes to. And then they kind of iterate it out to all the other people. And then on this one too, I've seen it, featured on loads of running youtubers who have been reviewing it too so they've handled this release really really well bravo to them for doing that and even these activations inside the nike store having runners come in treadmills and stuff look at your gate all that stuff's fucking incredible really cool well, well done the update here for the nike vaporfly next percent is really just an evolution of that exact same system really so beautiful look at the tread looks amazing don't they i'm even I usually hate that swoosh at the front. That's why I kind of hated the Mercurial Vaporfly thing that Ronaldo used to wear. But I'm not mad at it in general in these. Biggest update really with the next percent is 15% more foam underfoot, specifically in the forefoot, which is where you're going to get the highest. Mm, not the best idea. You don't want that much foam on your on your foot, especially if you're going to run the right way. Um, I'm sure they have a technology that's going to. I think a reviewer said I think the tread at the front of the forefoot somehow push forces you to always try to land on the balls of your feet and not the back of your feet. But I think for actual pose runners minimalist runners and people that actually have good form is going to be a bit of a problem because you're going to sometimes overcompensate or maybe get into bad habits especially with the amount of foam it's got on it but again it probably helps to try and the other thing that's maybe a concern is maybe the absolute the, um, uh, the lack of what's that thing is it vapor fly is it flying it flying it on the outside the kind of cage that holds your foot together usually you have like a bit of flying it on the side of the shoe so when you're lacing them up you're pulling the tension the torsion around your foot so your foot doesn't slide from left to right or roll around they look like they might roll around a bit so then again that might mean that they're more of a race shoe and less of an everyday training shoe but i would like to get some mileage in them myself personally to test them but i don't know just looking from the outside in Sandwich in between is that articulated carbon fiber plate. So this is what's giving wow. you that propulsion. I didn't know they had the carbon fiber plate inside. Amazing. Pops you out. I wonder how long that that carbon fiber, what's the um, what's the thing called? What's the point of no return when it stops having any sort of bounce on it? I wonder what the mileage is. Because usually shoes have a, a cap, right, of how many miles they can kind of run through. Usually it's about 100, I think, for the most part. 
Um, here's Paula Radcliffe talking about it as well. Let's see what she has to say. The elite want from a racing shoe, and that's to be light and responsive, which the plate helps with, and to be cushioning, so to return as much energy as possible to your body without... It looks so beautiful, don't they? Which is what the Zoom X foam does. Nice. We've also gone with an all-new upper. So we're moving from flying it to this new woven upper. This is what we're actually calling the vapor weave. Extremely lightweight. So why not flying it? I wonder why they're literally flying it. Won't absorb water over the course of the marathon. So that allows us to give you 15% more foam underfoot, but actually come in at the exact same weight as nice. the fly 4%. In okay. addition to the upper, we also wanted to increase the traction. So we added a uh, different pattern, a little bit more rubber for durability. That pattern on the bottom is so gorgeous. The so gorgeous. Really important for any runner, um, but in particular for a marathon runner, because you're spending so much time. They look really on good, man. You have to minimize the shock absorption, give the most energy return that they can, and wow. just make sure that your body can run as efficiently as possible. Ironic, isn't it? She's saying that. But anyway, um, really nice shoe. I really want a pair of them. Um, but anyway, um, Pacific, who I was talking about, I think they've got a whole range of shoes coming out now at the moment in a similar sort of vein. This is from Hype Beast. Um, it says the following headline Nike unveils a glowing phantom green spring summer 2019 Zoom series of silhouettes of shoes. So, this is kind of taking um, cue on what I've just spoken about earlier. I'm not too sure if these are the Nike. If, what's this neck percent? I'm not sure if that's a neck percent. But anyway, so they've got a whole range of shoes in the same sort of colorway, in that sort of phantom green colorway they're calling it. Just going to call it lime green for the, for the most part, to make it easy. But this is what they have on screen here, as you guys can see. Um, so you've got this sort of, I'm not sure what that model is there. That isn't a Nike's 10 neck percent, is it? Because this looks a bit different to me than what I just saw in the video. Or am I bugging out? What do you guys think? Is that different or is that, or is that just the same thing? The collar is black, right? The inside is black too. I'm not sure maybe that, that that's the release how it comes out. It's a bit different, right? Because on these ones, you see this, it's all green there. And on that, it's black and the lace. Anyway, it doesn't matter. What's the next ones? The next ones they've got... A few others here too. So a couple of other colorways with Nike Sportswear logo. That's the colorway that it looks like on the on the video, right? That same sort of colorway. Um, again, they look really nice. I love the tread. They've got some other Nike zooms there too at the lower kind of price bracket. I like how they iterated that throughout the entire collection. So yeah, and a whole range of, of colorways and whole different range of models that are going to be available. When are they mentioned it now? They're going to be available June 13th. So they're available today at 12 a.m. Some of them are available only for Nike Club members. The rest of them are available for regular punters. So if you're that way inclined and you're a runner like myself, I recommend you check them out. 